and welcome to this Wednesday's Coffee Cat Recipe. I'm pretty excited about this one because we're just doing some IHOP buttermilk pancakes. These are honestly the best pancakes I have ever had in my entire life. So I really hope you guys give this recipe a shot after I show you how to make them. I will have the recipe linked in my description box below if you guys want the exact measurements. Also, I just wanted to say I hope you guys are all having a good week this week. And if you are new here, I would love to have you over at my channel. So go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below the video, but let's get cooking some pancakes. Here are all the simple ingredients you're gonna need for these pancakes. So you'll need some baking powder, baking soda, some flour, this is all purpose flour, salt, two tablespoons of butter, an egg, buttermilk, and some sugar. Seriously, these ingredients could not be simpler. So let's just start by measuring everything. We're gonna go ahead and start on our dry ingredients first. So I'm just measuring out one and a fourth cup of all purpose flour. And then to that same little measuring cup, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a teaspoon of baking powder along with a teaspoon of some baking soda and then an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Right here with my little sifter, I am just going to sift those dry ingredients we just measured out into this large bowl right here. And then I'm just gonna set it aside and work on my wet ingredients. Right here in my smaller mixing bowl, I'm just gonna be cracking in my one egg along with my one and a fourth cup of some buttermilk, and then you're just gonna whisk it all together to combine. Once that is well combined, you are just gonna add that buttermilk and egg mixture into your sifted flour dry ingredients, and then you're just gonna mix it up until everything is smooth, and you wanna make sure you do not have any clumps in that batter. Now for the very last steps you're gonna do before you get these pancakes cooking is you're gonna be adding in a fourth a cup of granulated sugar along with two tablespoons of melted butter and then again you're gonna whisk that all together to combine. Once your batter is super smooth and silky looking just like that, what I like to do is put it in my four cups measuring cup right there. And I like to, you know, pour it in like that just because it is significantly easier to make the pancakes and pour them out on my skillet that way. That's just the way I've been doing it for a couple years now and I just love doing it that way. And now I just have this griddle right here. I just put a little bit of butter on so they don't stick and to give it some added flavor. And then, you know, you're just gonna pour your pancakes on and then do the pancake thing. Here these pancakes are all plated up. I just put a pat of butter on top for some added flavor and then I put some maple syrup, you know, because you can't have pancakes without syrup. These pancakes were so, so good. I can't even begin to tell you guys how much we loved them. They really did resemble the IHOP pancakes a lot. I think they were significantly better though. I think that they tasted so, so fresh. I really do recommend this recipe. And that wraps up this copycat recipe for today. I hope you guys all enjoyed these pancakes and maybe give them a shot. I'm pretty sure you will love them just as much as my family loves them. Anyways, I would love to have you guys over here at my channel. So go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below the video so I could see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.